So the website I want to introduce you to today is called goteachmaths.co.uk. Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video, helping you to become the best mathematician you can be. And using my experience as a head of department, uh, I want to show you some of the really great maths websites out there to help you with your mathematics at whatever age you are. So the website I want to introduce you to today is called goteachmaths.co.uk. So you can see that at the top here. And just want to go through the website and show you the great resources that are on there. So let's start with how it's grouped at the top. So we have number, proportion, algebra, geometry, data, probability. So again, that makes it into uh, concepts, into the different ways you can split up mathematics. And let's go and investigate one of those. So let's look at number to start with. Say I want to improve my fractions work. And then I want to think, okay, how do I want to improve my fractions? Well, let's have a look then at non-unit fractions and then looks at adding and subtracting. So this is a topic, particularly at year seven and year eight, you may want to focus on. So I click on this button here and it takes you through to a presentation demonstration. So that's uh, just a PowerPoint and then worksheets to help you work through and exciting kind of activities. So let's choose the PowerPoint first of all. So I click on the PowerPoint and I click on here and it'll open up the PowerPoint for me. And you'll see it uh, divides up into animated slides. So say I want to practice uh, adding one fifth and one tenth, well, I can work my way through this PowerPoint. And whether you're a teacher out there or a student yourself, uh, yeah, you can actually work through these PowerPoints together. And it's yeah, in a very, very nice format, very colorful format, okay, changing one fifth to two tenths, for example. Uh, I do like the way that this is presented. Um, alternatively, you have what's called AFL questions, assessment for learning, so checking that you've understood the key concepts. So I like this in terms of the PowerPoints they have here. So let's close that down. And they've also got a various amount of activities. So they have a spot the mistake activity. Notice they have the PowerPoints, which if I click on this PowerPoint and open this up, we'll see that they actually have the mistake activities there. This is to display on the board if you're teaching this, for example. And if I go back, they also have this in A4 and A5. So say I want to actually print this out myself. They have the PDF there, uh, which is formatted there correctly. And they've got the answers there as well. So you can check your learning as you're going along. I really like this as a resource to dip into. So let's look at the revision materials at the top. So one thing I've noticed is they go up just to GCSE. So if you do IGCSE, you do IB, you do A-levels, Unfortunately, there are no resources there for you, but say I'm doing GCSE and I struggle with solving quadratics, which is a common topic. So let's click on that and you'll see here that they have a variety of different worksheets. So say you want to practice the factorization, completing the square using the quadratic formula. I've been teaching that this morning. Then if you click on one of the PowerPoints, uh, let's click on that one. Let's click on B. So open up the PowerPoint and you'll see that they have a selection of questions with the answers given, as in what kind of method to use, and then the actual solutions as well. I like how they've divided that up into telling you how you go about it, and then telling you, okay, how to work it out as well. I really like that. And they've got this on A5 and even A6 to print out. If I go back, you can actually click on the A5 button immediately, and it'll open up a PDF where you can just print this out straight away. So I really, really like that. And last of all, let's try the search bar. So say I want to practice my vectors. Yeah, let's put in vectors. Let's see what comes up. So we've got vectors around shapes and substituting vectors into algebraic expressions. So vectors around shapes is a typical GCSE topic. So let's click on that. And then it takes you through to a demonstration like we saw uh, previously. Uh, they have a card match activity as well. And then teacher-led activities like noughts and crosses activity, that's fantastic. And one of the things that I didn't mention earlier is they do have usually a set of exam questions per topic. So if you're doing the Edexcel higher paper, then you can see you've got the PowerPoint, the standard and small PDFs as well. Let's choose an activity. Let's choose the card um, match activity. Let's click on standard. And you'll see what generates up here is you've got a card match activity, 
where you have the question on vectors and then you've got to uh, connect it up with the correct answer and then you'll see the answers there of which number so number one for example matches up with a half a plus b so that's a really nice activity yeah you can print this out and then you can connect the question and the correct answer to the question is there given to you as well okay so let me just summarize what i've talked about on this website go teach maths and i've divided this into four categories so accessibility so how well is the uh, website orientated is it easy to find resources exam orientation is it suitable for key stage three key stage four gcse a level ib and so on variety of different activities there and then free versus paid content so accessibility it's a really easy interface to use you've got it by categories at the top but you've also got the search bar which as we saw with vectors was very very useful uh, the search bar on the home screen yep is uh, very very good it's free so it's completely free you can make a donation however so i've given this five out of five i mean it's a great website it's free you know you can make a donation if you wish you know it's got everything there that you want exam orientation is a little bit different so it's designed for key stage two three and gcse so there is no A-level content or IB content or IGCSE. I did put yet, maybe Tom has got an idea of actually putting resources up on GoTeachMaths. So I've given this a three out of five, but of course, as they add more resources to this, this is only gonna get better and better. A variety, um, there's lots of great PowerPoints, lots of great activities, card matching, Tarsiers, um, lots of different things there for you. Uh, revision exercises as well, so they use a grid you know, using noughts and crosses, for example. Uh, but it is generally support material. Okay, so say I wanted to teach vectors. There's lots of great activities there, and I can teach certain parts, but it doesn't give you like, an entire lesson. So you need to use bits and pieces. You know, you can't um, just download this and then teach. You know, Dr. Frost Maths, which I will mention in a in video in the future, yeah, that does have a, okay, the whole lesson on straight line graphs is there. I give this four out of five, which I think is a fair thing to give it. Free versus paid content, well, that's really straightforward. Donations are accepted, but it's all free, so I just give it five out of five. So if we add everything up, I give this a ginger mathematician, the final score of 17 out of 20. I think this is a really, really good resource. This is relatively new. So it's good um, as an experienced math teacher to go out there, find new resources, and yeah, really share that with you, whether you're a student or a teacher, and hopefully you'll get to use it in the future. Right, if you've got any other suggestions in terms of resources to review, then please let me know in the comments, and bye-bye for now.